What? I hate when I'm upset, okay? Has anybody seen my cookies? Uh, nope. Gotta go. Oh, hello, green contacts. I didn't see you there. Using a thin brush and white body paint, outline the outside area of your eye where the panda's eye is going to be. This is just a basic guideline, so it doesn't have to be perfect. It's almost like a pear or potato-like shape. Yeah, do that on both sides. I'm actually using a reference of Poe to help me figure out where the lines are gonna be exactly. So go ahead and take your thin brush again, draw a line straight across the nose, and a couple curves on the side where his nostrils are going to be since they're very wide and flat. We want to make sure we get that whole area across our nose and close to the insides of our cheeks. Pull the line all the way down right at the cupid's bow of your lip or right at your top lip there and drag one line straight down because he has a little bit of a point right on the bottom of his nose. Since Poe has a very circular face, take a thicker brush with your white paint again and draw as close as you can to a perfect circle all the way around the edges of your own face. To save time and to keep you from seeing brush strokes, I find it easier to use a sponge and just pack on that white there. Just don't fill in the eye area or the nose area. And when it comes to coloring over your mouth, close your lips. That way it's less work. You won't have to get any paint off of your lips. You can just paint straight on them. Now we'll switch back to using a thicker brush again so we can fill in the eye areas with black. It will start to turn a little bit gray because you are mixing it with white, but just keep going over it until you have the black that you want. Fill over your eyelids completely and underneath your eyes and do that on both sides. Oopsies. Yeah, you might want to know what colors I'm using. That might be helpful. So this is the Graftobian brand in Raven Black and White Swan. Really like these. Also by Graftobian. This is the cake liner I like to use for shadowing in Jet Black. I also think you're some sort of magical ninja that can read upside down. So using that shadow, set it on your eyelids so it doesn't crease. Now taking a thin brush, you're just going to follow those same lines that you first made to outline his nose. So it's a little more crisp and clear, and you can get it ready for coloring the inside black. And even though it's slightly uncomfortable and you look incredibly attractive while doing it, don't forget to paint the inside of your nose. It completes the illusion and looks better in photos. Also, if you want to look like you're in the FBI or the CIA, make sure that when your earbud comes loose, just leave it. Anyways, just go over with a thin brush one last time on the outer edges of the nose and the little tip of his nose right above your mouth, and add in a couple of dots where his whiskers would normally be. Poe's top lip is black and the bottom, just the outline, is black and there's a small circular area on his bottom lip that is a little bit reddish, so leave that area open and I'm again just using body paint. And go ahead and fill in that middle area with the red and just sort of blend it out with your brush. Don't go all the way up so the black doesn't completely cover what you just did. And you can also use your fingers to kind of dab the edges and smooth it out a little bit if you need to. Go back to using your sponge to fill in the area behind the white in your hairline. Make sure you do that on your neck and the top of your shoulders as well. Using a small soft angle brush, take that jet black liner again and etch out the nose shape. It's going to go right under his eyes and just curve all the way around his nose on both sides. You can go over it a couple times so that you can see it better in pictures. Poe has a cute little double chin, so we're going to create that using the liner also and making a few lines right next to your own chin. Bring those lines straight up and it'll give the appearance of a thicker chin. He also has very expressive eyebrows, so block those in nice and big and go ahead and shade a little bit in between and along the outside edges. So once again, that it is more visible on camera. Don't forget to color in your own ears black and create a pair for Poe. 
Alright, here is our final look for Poe, the main character in Kung Fu Panda. If you enjoyed this look, please like and subscribe. You can find me at Bagel Queen on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. What?